Hello everyone and welcome to a game that's probably unfamiliar to you all right now. It's called Rise of Nations. This is on Roblox, if, if you couldn't tell already. But this is basically Hoi 4 on Roblox and Hoi 4, except I actually know what I'm doing. Now this game's actually pretty linear. There's, it looks complicated once you- well it doesn't look complicated right now, but it will look complicated. But it's actually pretty linear. And since I have nothing better to do with my life, we are going to join a server. How about this one? 2020? It is 2020. Um, and so the servers actually start in 2019, because they didn't update it yet. In this episode, we are going to be playing as Congo, because Asia looks like that. And we are going to um, actually unite Africa, and it's going to take a long time, and I'm going to want to put a bullet in my head. But I never join public servers on this game, or ones, a servers that actually have a lot of people in them, for that matter of fact, because that people always um, declare war on you because I like to play as Kazakhstan in this game and Kazakhstan's right under Russia and right beside China and I will just let you I'll just let you think of why that's really bad in this game <laughs> you know in real life that wouldn't be a problem Kazakhstan and Russia is in a faction but in this game you got you got um, Titanic Aiden over here the president of Russia and the president of China, who formed the Qing Dynasty, Baltimorex. And Kazakhstan's dead right now. So if you want to play Kazakhstan in this game, good luck finding a server. This is why I like usually just like server hop until I find good servers that are like that like are take place like in the future, but like everything's still pretty pretty good. Russia doesn't own like 90% of the entire world. But uh, the first thing, as the new president of the Democratic Republic of Congo, I'm going to convert to socialism. Actually, not yet, because I don't have enough po political power to do so. But we will be declaring war on Angola and Congo on December 17th. And the Congo is actually one of the strongest nations in Africa in this game. They start out with 100,000 level 2 troops, almost level 3. So you can kind of see why they're a little bit OP. But, um, about that, uh, oh, oh, Canada, I really don't play in public servers because of this reason. Everything's just horrible. Pakistan owns almost all of India. Oh, and yeah, um, my actions in this game do not reflect my political views, and I was just gonna, um, exclaim that before we talk about our buddy over here. Uh, if you know why this playing this might be controversial at this time, well then, we don't have to talk about it. We're playing as Congo. We don't need to worry about that right now. Okay, so now we're t well, we're, we're not Congo. We're the Democratic Congo. But we're going to reunite the Zaire. I'm not going to make any alliances because I'm playing as an African country. Like, who plays as Africa? I'm sorry, but oh god, France is in Africa. Okay, I might have to form an alliance with France. Because they're colonizing all of Africa. Reforming the French Empire. If he doesn't accept my alliance, then I'm pretty screwed. And well, while my OP troops are taking out Congo, I'm just going to justify war goals on Zambia and Mo 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 Mozambique. That's how you say it. All right, so, well, my troops are just walking over these cities, just trampling everything. We barely took any casualties from that conflict with the... Congolese troops, but now we actually have enough political power to convert to socialism. A socialist African country, yes. Well, while we're taking over Congo, can we just get an F in the chat for our Kazakh brothers over here? And China's about to take out Kyrgyzstan and Turkmenistan and Tajikistan too. And Azerbaijan's going to get invaded by Russia, I can feel it. They're bordering, because if you're boarding Russia, if you're boarding Russia, then you're pretty much screwed. Well, except if you're China, because this is China's military right now, um, yeah. Oh, and yeah, they recently added a technology tab, so, um, you can, like, actually, since this game gets boring sometimes, no offense, it does get boring sometimes, you can actually speed up the process by researching. So, what I like to do is, well, since I usually join servers that are, like, in 2,200 or whatever, I have, like, 5,000 research power, but in this server, no, I only have 58 right now. So I just like upgrade to quantum computing so I can research a lot faster. I was like, who's this? Is this Tanzania? The I'm really good at um, geography and um, geopolitical stuff, but uh, Africa's not one I'm good at. Wait, is someone playing in South Africa? 
Okay, good. No, it's nobody. Like I said, nobody plays as, as Africa in this game. Except if you want to kill Africa, well, South Sudan. Oh yeah, South Sudan's a thing. Uganda justify war goal. And we actually only have to wait 64 days since we're socialist. This uh, it kind of sounds stupid. Socialist, almost communist African nation. Well, we're about to become Zaire because that's like the last Congo city. Uh, bye bye. The collapse of Congo. And Democrat. Like, the text goes off screen because our name is so long. But we have annexed Congo, and you see how all these cities are un in unrest right now? It's about to change because we're going to reunite the Zaire. And now there's no unrest. So, yeah, this game moves. It chugs along really slow, but it's really fun. It's a really fun game. And just so we can speed up the process, just, just, you have to spend a lot of time on this game, trust me. We're going to make 200,000 Congo troops and invade, uh, what is this country again? Zambia! Yes, of course. But not before we train them, because I'm pretty sure those are level 2. Well, I can't check, but I'm pretty sure all countries start out with level 2 troops. I'm, I'm pretty sure they do. But, uh, yeah. Our war goal on Tanzania has finished, and now we are going to invade Gabon. And yeah, like I said, d d d this game does not reflect reflect my political views in any way, shape, and form. I am not a racist. I am not a, a xenophobe. I love countries. I love all countries. All right, so I made a few alliances. A, a few. So if Italy, or well, I'm allied with Italy, but so but if France wants to um, war me, then they will get the big die. Also, I'm invading Gabon. Just thought I'd, you know. All right, but anyways, I'm almost allied with everyone in the server except Cuba, Dominican Republic, Egypt. Egypt's my ally. Oh, wait, no, Egypt's not my ally. I meant to say Egypt's in the. G Who is playing as Egypt? Who is the president of Egypt? XX Rando Man <laughs> XX. Yes, our favorite. And he's at a war with. Uh... Mm, okay, we're just not gonna talk about that. I also forgot about these guys down here, so I'm actually training them now because. I just want to make sure I got level 2 troops before I invade countries down here. Or actually, while I'm at it, I'll make some more troops. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, so 200k there. So we can, like, um, annex all sides of Africa simultaneously. Simo yeah, but it's gonna really suck when we get to this, because look at how many countries there are here. It's gonna be really painful declaring or justifying goals on them. <laughs> Except if France um, actually goes to war with them, which seems likely. France is going to take out all these guys. And if the French, if I go invade France, if I get powerful enough to invade France, or um, France is actually getting really close to me. It's, that's not making me. That's making me really uncomfortable. I am not okay with that because they're probably going to invade me. But wait, I actually have so many allies, so it doesn't matter. Oh, Russia is invading Turkey. Of course. Oh, this is going to be a big battle, actually. I'm glad I wasn't allied with Turkey, because uh, Russia would be at war with me. But hey, the Russian player looks pretty nice, and look how many allies he's got. Maybe he'd white piece me, who knows? I'm also invading Zambia. Got a war goal with Kenya. I'm invading Angola, too. Wow, those troops did a detriment to mine. Yeah, Angola's pretty big. Ugh. But it does not matter, we are winning. We, well, we are taking Angola's capital. And the thing about AI in this game is once you kill all their troops, they're not gonna make any more. So it's just free reign. If, you, if you're invading an AI country and you defeat all their troops, then it's just free reign. So I'm gonna make even more troops and not even bother training these, cause I'm just gonna send them after Angola anyways. And it won't matter cause there's no troops for them to fight. Once we take Angola's capital, I'm gonna retreat these guys out here cause um, they're losing numbers really quickly. And I'm gonna train these guys. Wait, are, were they were they training or were? Continue training. Also, I'm sorry, developer, but the Zare's flag is really ugly. Um, yeah, I just don't like it. It just looks really ugly. Oh, they added a new they added a new form formable nation in the in the latest update. Cool. I'm gonna have to annex all those countries. Oh God, what what happened? Who who declared war in the UK? Hungary. Poland? No, we're not gonna fight the United Kingdom. Oh god. Does the UK actually have lands down here? Okay, they white pieced. So yeah, that's the downside of having too many allies. Some um some dude's just gonna 
decide to declare war on one of your allies and you'll be brought into it and you best hope they white piece you or else you're pretty much screwed if they're stronger than you that is as you can see the Zare empire grows ever so stronger yes and yeah i'm really trying to take out angola really quickly that's why i'm making so much more troops because people when they tend to play african countries like it's rare but sometimes people tend to um play as an African country, they either click Congo, and I already am Congo, or they'll play as Angola, and I don't fight players in this game for a reason, because they might be smarter than me. But who knows, I'm, I, I, I just don't declare war on players in this game. If they declare war on me, then I, well, I'll have to fight them, obviously. But I remember, um, while, while we invade countries, you know, just so casually, while we invade these countries down here, I'm just going to tell a story. I was playing as Kazakhstan once, and um, Ukraine united the Kievan Rus and invaded Russia. So Ukraine owned all of Russia, and then they decided to declare war on me, Kazakhstan, which was now the Central Asian Union. And But I was allied with China, and the Kievans, the, they were losing because my Chinese ally was so much better than them. And so the Kievans um, retreated, and they were like, here, we'll white peace you, here, white peace. Hey, dude, we can be peaceful. And I was like, nah, because you're going to lose anyways, bro. You're gonna lose anyways. Also, since all these nations are starting out with troops, I'm not gonna auto-capture. I'm just gonna storm the capital so I can get the troops, then turn on auto-capture. But, uh, yeah, our invasion of Angola is almost complete. I wish there was capitulation in this game, because, like, if you like if you capture a certain amount of cities, like in Hoi 4, they capitulate. They should add that in, that in this game, honestly. The capital of Uganda has already been seized by us, so let's just auto-capture Uganda now, because it's free reign, and, well, once Zambia is almost taken over by our one, um, division down here, we'll send him after Angola, too. Angola's, um, uh, shrunk a little bit. I don't know why my Plutonian broadband is not working that well right now, because this game's lagging a lot, like, let me go check my ping. It's 662 and it's jumping up, and it's not, it's not, it works, but it's not good for this game. Because it gets frustrating when this game lags. And we are just not going to comment on this right here, it'll just, you know, we'll just get away from that real quick. Seems like the United States is in, oh, I, I was going to say they were preparing an invasion of Mexico, but they already have invaded Mexico. Oh god, is that France? Okay, they haven't got Nigeria. Jesus. That, that's, all of this is France. I don't know. If I want to unite Africa, I will have to take those lands back. So, I don't know if the French are trying to start something here. but And I actually should be more justifying more war goals because uh, I'm wasting time if I don't. Whoa, whoa, get this out of my face. Something just changed over here. Wait, what? Wait, Sudan? Oh, Italy's invading Sudan. Oh god. Well, I better take South Sudan. Wait, where's this guy going? Oh, there's a Ugandan city there, okay. He's invading Uganda, but... Oh yeah, I don't think I'll make it. I need to make more troops. Or how much manpower do I have? I have... I have... 100,000 more troops just waiting to go. Alright, so an uh, invasion of uh, Zambia is almost done. That's the last city, I think. But yeah, look, this is how big we are now. Okay, so we're gonna actually need to annex Egypt. You, well, we're taking Uganda. And a bunch of countries up here, including Sudan, they have already been taken out by Egypt or Italy. So... I can see a World War III Africa edition beginning soon. You know, people already have left this server, so that's why when you stay in a server for a long time, people just rage quit after you get invaded by Russia or something, and then you, it's just your server, it's just free reign, you can do whatever you want then, because they won't be making any troops, there'll be no resistance. And North American Union has just formed, great. Um, did I see that? Um, Zambia just collapsed, yes. Uh, demand war, reparations, annex cities occupied, and the invasion of Angola has been successful. We've almost, um taken over all of Angola. So I don't even think this guy will be necessary, actually. We'll just uh, bring him, like, here. There's, like, a merge of three countries. Do I have a war goal? Um, well, I have a war goal in Botswana. I did it off camera, and I remember. Zimbabwe, do I? No, but I do now. South Africa? Well, nobody's playing as them, so I best justify a war goal before someone plays as them. And the thing is, if you justify a war goal in a country, it stays forever. 
And if you do it, like, when no one's playing as it, they'll, and, like, if someone plays a South Africa and you already justified a war goal against them, the player who just switched to South Africa won't see the war goal, so they won't know that you're, you want to invade them, so, yeah, Uganda's almost capitulated, why, uh, the thing I don't understand about auto capturing this game, why did he skip, okay, so the bot went right here, and he went, captured all this, he went up here, and why did he skip this city? Get them. I don't know. Why did he skip that? Also, Angola has collapsed. Demand war reparations. NX. So, we have no threat in Africa. Or I shouldn't say that, because Egypt and Italy. But, um, we have no threat of someone playing as Angola, because Angola doesn't exist now. So, since I'm allied with the Italians, they seem really uh, uh, open to negotiation, since they literally, like, oh, Congo wants to ally with me? I don't even know who that is, but sure, I'll accept... So they seem very open in the negotiations, but I doubt it, but they might give me back the African lands for a small sum of some moolah. I don't know. Maybe. My goal for this video is to unite the Nile, because, well, I still can't even do that. I'll need, to, I'll need to take over Egypt, and Egypt's all the way up here. Unless he's negotiable, I'm going to form an alliance with Egypt, you know, because I'm scared. I know where to cause a truce between us if he um, declines. Oh, he accepted. Okay, good, good. But um, when Egypt leaves the game, I'm going to invade him. That's basically what you do. When someone leaves the game, you just invade them. But when I see something cursed, the um, Pakistan owns Delhi. It, it makes a lot of sense. So my troops have regained their power. I'm going to declare war on Zimbabwe and send my troops full force in there. And I'm going to declare war on uh, Nam Namibia. Nam Namibia. These are some weird names. But I'm gonna go straight for Namibia. Namim Namim I feel like Nemo when he's trying to say anemone. Like a Namibia. Like what? Okay, but uh, these these troops haven't trained. Oh, they are training. God dang it. The word start and stop is too similar, man. But uh, I guess oh I don't I actually don't have a war going South Sudan. Weird, but I'm about to. Now that we annex Uganda, we can just push up here. Yeah, push up. Okay, can I just, like, select... Yeah, select... Oh, I have no manpower. Oops. Uh, it's because they're training. I'm losing a lot of manpower. But we are getting pretty rich in the world, so I, I'm just gonna do this. Um, buildings, recruitment center. And all... Look at that. All those recruitment centers. So we have destroyed Namibia's forces. And, yeah, the thing I don't like... They just... Whenever they um, come close to a troop, they just stop there and you have to like move them back over there man manually it's kind of annoying but you know okay this is the name maybe uh the Mughal Empire that's Pakistan yeah let me just double check yeah that's M Mughal they annexed oh they're number three willpower what am I number 12 I'm getting there who is Albania this is me when people be insulting the Albanian government where is he here he is Albania you know I like Albania but Albania is awesome Bro, I'm gonna form an alliance with Albania. Wait a minute, is Albania even a real country right now? Like, okay, yeah, he accepts. Uh, is it is Albania independent? Cause I'm pretty sure that Greece might have annexed them or have them as a, a state. I don't, I don't know. I'm the the two um, places I'm worse at with geography is Europe, cause it's just a huge blender of a bunch of countries. Same with Africa. Also, developer, um, Rise of Nations developer. Kind sir, um, may I make a suggestion to you? Um, I think this game would be a lot more interesting if we added de facto or sovereign countries. And a good example of this would be um, in Georgia. Well, Georgia's been annexed by the USSR. In Georgia, there's two de facto countries, Abkhazia and South Ossetia. What if we added those in this game? That would be pretty cool, playing as Abkhazia or South Ossetia. I think it would be really cool playing as um, Abkhazia in this game. Um, and, yeah, just, like, de facto states or unrecognized countries. Or maybe they can, de maybe, like, they start out not existing, but they can declare independence if the stability of a country gets really low. Alright, almost forgot. I'm gonna invade South Sudan. Only 800,000 people live in South Sudan. Kind of, I thought more people lived there. And for some reason, their troops aren't on the capital, so I'm just gonna storm into the capital and the troops will move up. The troops will automatically move once I take out a city. And then they'll, they'll just run into me and die instantly. 
But uh, yeah, um, I'm almost taking over Zimbabwe, the the Juba. Okay, we already took over South Sudan's capital. And are you gonna come? Are you gonna come? Um, in, um, are you gonna come? Get me South Sudan. Okay, there you go. And once those guys have died, I'm gonna invade South Sudan, and they're dead already. I only lost three thousand troops because my army is vastly superior. Also, these guys have made it to level two, so we're gonna declare war on the Central African Republic. Let's go. Oh god, oh god, they're already trying to take over a city, because one of our cities are right on top of theirs. No worries. Zongo. Okay, no worries. We can just take it back, because we'll win this battle, honestly. We're gonna win. I might just make a huge army over here, or... Okay, we have some manpower freed up, because of our factories, civili- or, yeah, recruitment centers, not factories. I'll just make 5k, and we can't invade these countries unless we get to 5k to level 2, because... 20k level 2s will outnumber um, 50k level 1s, if I know correctly. Okay, we got Namibia. Namibia. I'm just gonna go over here to this Zimbabwe. Okay, you know what? Never mind. He'll do it. He'll do it. I'll just train these guys while they're sitting here because they took a beating. Alright, so here's our troops ready. We'll just um, put them up. See, this is the AI. Like, auto capture, it's really good because you don't have to focus on the country because they'll do it any for you. But it's very unreliable for what they'll do. It'll just take a lot longer than if you were to control it, honestly. But yeah, what can you expect? Just AI. So, the state of the world right now is not looking that good. There's some border gore in the Middle East. Um, the queen owns all of Asia. Almost all of it. All, all of Central Asia and all of... Asia. Pakistan owns all of this. Russia owns all of that. Europe's kind of looking funky. The United Kingdom owns Madrid. Okay. Albania grows stronger. Mm-hmm. Um, well... South America's looking... Oh, God. Oh, God. Who declared war on the Mughal? All of us against the Mughal? No, I'm not gonna declare war on the third power of the world, Mo. If he doesn't accept a white piece, then I'm pretty screwed. If he decides to invade me. Oh, thank god. Okay, well... There's one more ally gone. I could form the alliance again, but I'm not gonna. What's going on in the chat? Mughal, hold on, I'm going to release it. Okay, you know what, never mind, I don't care. Alright, turn off auto merge for them. Wow, we are getting really big. The collapse of South Sudan and the Mameluk Sultanate. Oh god! What happened? I looked away for a minute. What happened? Jesus. What's the stability in Russia? You can't check stability, actually. What's he talking about? I'm getting out of Europe. Okay, something happened to Russia, and it's not looking too hot in Russia. We took out South Sudan, so I'm going to send those South Sudanese inv invaders to Central Africa. And these guys are still training. I'll get these two small ones right here. And we're going to invade. Wait. Oh, yeah, Zimbabwe collapsed, so I, I didn't even white peace. Or not white peace, I didn't even get peace with them yet, so it's kind of crappy. Let's just um, declare war on Bots. Oh, oh, we we don't even have a war goal. I, I could have sworn we had a war goal with Botswana. Okay, so Mo Mo Mozambique will be my next target. Then I'm going to go after Lesotho and Swaziland. Yeah, Swaziland. The truce between us and the UK has ended. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right. So, um, Mozambique. Where are you, where are even Mozambique's troops? They're down there. And are these guys actually replenishing? Yeah, but very slowly. So once these get to like 150k, we'll declare war in Mozambique because I just want to be safe. So let's see how we are doing on the charts. Number nine world power on the rankings. Well, this is very unequal. Like here's. We're like nothing, you know, Italia, Italy, Italia, Italy, going up, going up slowly, going up, there's a big jump there, ooh, it's like a whoosh, like, bro, okay, collapse of Central Africa, easy win, alright, so this is, um, Chad, okay, so we're gonna invade Chad, because uh, we are the Chad Congo, the, and this is the Virgin Chad, actually, so, Jesus, I need some tea, bro. I need some tea. 
Okay, we have four dreams to go to World Botswana. Great. Just fantastic. Tanzania is the number 18 world power. Not on my watch. You know, they're only the number 18 world power because everyone else's country has collapsed. So, like, if there was, like, let's just say an American player took over everything except one country, and that one country was, like, North Korea. Actually, no, that's not a good example. North Korea actually is pretty powerful. Please don't come kill me, Kim. But, <laughs> joking aside, um, let's just say, um, yeah, ooh, what's, what's this? Uh, okay, well, we're not going to figure out what that is, because it's... God, who is doing... Russia? You best white piece me, Queen. They're Ching. They're called Ching. Uh, that's a lot of Ching ta tanks. Um, and they haven't white pieced me. This is very worrying. Well, it's not like they can get down here. Like, I think... Okay, good. They white pieced. I'm going after Burundi and then well, Rwanda next. Hey, 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 you're not taking that from me, mate. Did I say mate? Am I, am I British now? Well, I'm not playing as Britain. I'm playing as like the least British country I, anyone could possibly think of. Congo. Oh, these guys. They didn't even move. That's the thing. I, was, I wasn't even paying attention here. So this is Botswana. We're really close to South Africa. South Africa might put up a fight. They have 120k troops, but we have more, so it will not be a problemo. Moba Mozambique is ours, because we are going to take it, and we are going after their capital, yes. Oh god, the Moog- oh, Moogal's invading Russia? They're, yeah, they're- oh, Moogal's invading Russia. Okay, yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna want to play this game, make more videos in this game, so I really hope you guys are gonna like this series, because I like this game, this is one of my favorite Roblox games. And one of, one of the things I want to do is play as Kazakhstan and take over all of Asia, because I did that once. I played as Kazakhstan, and I owned, like, all of Asia right here, except India, because I didn't bother to invade India. But, yeah. Oh, God. They did a lot of damage. Who's this? Who is that? Who's playing? Is someone playing as Tanzania? Someone's playing as Tanzania? Okay, we... I'm not going to form an alliance with them. What's he... He's taking over... He's taking over Rwanda! Oh, no, he's not. What is he doing? I think he... Okay, we're going to start mass-producing troops. Well, we, we, we can't because we don't have a lot of manpower, but we will soon. Trust me. I, ha I can mass-produce a lot here and destroy. Like, I can just destroy them from all angles, bro. Not a good idea. If he justifies a war goal, I'm just mass-producing troops. Botswana is ours just because there goes some um, 5k more troops. See state treasury, annex cities, there, 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 but you know, the usual. And there we go, we, we got even larger. And I am really don't declare, I don't declare war on other players, like I've said. But if this guy, I don't really trust him, to, to say the least. And I'm not allying him, because if he leaves, which he probably will, um, I'll have to wait like 3,000 years. Not 3,000, like, realistic. Yeah, he's making more troops. I don't- and he's sending them- Yeah, he's invading Rwanda. Yeah, I don't. Wait, what? No, he's not. What is he doing? The collapse of Chad? I didn't even remember we declared war on Chad. Okay. So there's more land and- Wow, that's a- that was a big- Okay, I'm just gonna send these Chad guys over here. Rwanda's about to collapse. Or no, Burundi. Not Rwanda. They, they're similar. They're similar because they're bordering. Easy to get mixed up. You know what I mean. Never mind. The collapse of Burundi. There we go. Now, I do believe what I am doing is war crim criminal actions, and I'm going to be executed after this video is completed. But you know what? It's worth it. You. Oh, who? Someone's playing as South Africa! Well, dang! Okay, so, well, no invasion of South Africa, I guess. So just go after Mozambique. Dang. I was really hoping to invade South Africa. That would be a lot, we'd get a lot more powerful. But yeah, now that someone's playing South Africa, I know they're allied, but still. If, if they break the alliance, then I'll know something's up. I can just mass produce troops, and since we're going to get Mozambique, we can attack from this angle, this angle, this angle, all the angles. Alright, so we're just sending these, look at this, 30k troops, or 300,000 troops, I mean. You know, nothing, nothing big, just 300,000 men just walking across Congo. 
Oh, these guys are training. Okay, okay. Oh god, South Africa. They're producing a lot of troops. South Africa is gonna invade Lesotho and uh, Swaziland because, you know, they're bordering it. It makes sense. What is this dude doing? Is he think he, does he think he's at war with me or something? Uh, who is this? What are you doing? You're getting killed in my land. We're not allied. You're not allowed to do that. You know what, let's just see what he does. They're, they're just standing there. Whatever you want to do, mate. I said mate again. Oh, here's my friend. Who worries? He's my friend in real life and friend in Roblox. He's really cool. Me and him play this game a lot. But anyway, shout out to Who Worries. He's making an SCP game. And it looks really cool. It's called SCP Site Onitrix. And it's not going to be a roleplay. Like, it's going to be a roleplay. But still, it's actually going to be like a fun roleplay. It's going to be unique. He said there would be working SCPs. And I've not seen a roleplay with working SCPs. They're just like a unique roleplay like that. So I think it's a really good idea. And that game's going to do successful. So yeah, shout out to Who Worry. Go check out his game. Actually, don't check it out right now because it's not out yet. Okay, Mo Mozambique is done, and um, I'm going to invade Malawi. Alright. Uh, well, we're, wait. Oh yeah, we're invading this country, Kenya. So uh, we're, we're completely surrounding this guy after we take out Kinda. Kenya. Kinda. We're going to... Well, wait. South Africa's my ally now, and we're really close to each other, so... Yeah, the mo this country, Tanzania, screwed. Oh. Nobody's playing us then. Oh, they have troops in my land, though. I'm I was going to declare war as a joke, but... Like I said, I, I know I would win, but... I don't have... Ah, oh, God. Okay, I have a plan. I'll send... I have one division here. I'll send him on top. And the other division right here goes on top of this guy so as soon as the war starts he'll just be obliterated from existence annihilated vaporized Thanos out of existence and Swaziland has collapsed I don't know how a war against me in South Africa is gonna turn out considering that I don't have a lot of manpower I pretty much have the max amount of troops I can handle in my country but I'm gonna make oh wait yeah that reminds me I can just do limited conscription and I have not what have I been doing this whole game I haven't even upgraded anything Jesus and they, and they call me good at this game. I'm gonna get anti-tank we weaponry. So just in case South Africa makes tanks, I'll destroy them easily. Once I take out Kenya and Malawi, I'll invade... Tanzania! Tanzania. Not Tanzania. Also, my favorite song is playing... Mukal. Oh, my friend's Mukal. Are we allied with Mukal? I don't think so since we declared war. Form alliance. Okay. He's gonna accept, because he knows who I am. It would make sense. So, invading Malawi. There we go. A ally with the Mukal. Now, I don't know if we're gonna actually be able to take over all of Africa. Let's see, is France allied? No, no, wait, I was gonna say, is, does France have a player? And yes, they do. So, unless I declare war on one of the world's superpowers, which I'm not. Actually, we're not that far away from them in ranking. They're rank 7, we're rank 9. And since I have a buttload of allies, and, well, they're allied with the UK, but we have more allies in them, we could take them out. But we'll have to see. That'll probably be, like, the biggest battle of this video. The last, the war to win all, the war, the war to w end all the wars. Oh, crap. My manpower's freaking like skyrocketing I was gonna say tanking but that's the exact opposite of what's happening because all those new um, the, con the new conscription law and uh, um, all those um, recruitment things they really helped out also um, the thing that's annoying is all these freaking islands down here count as African so I'm having second thoughts about reuniting Africa because I hate island nations in this game. They're so annoying to invade. What's going on over here? Is Mukal still invading Russia? Oh, Russia's actually still a thing. Let's see, who's playing as Russia? Russia, he rage quit. Well, yeah, Russia's done for. I'm gonna up my tax collection so I can like get a buttload more money because I'm gonna need a lot of money soon because I want to buy all these African lands 
And I don't know how much Italy's gonna want for Ethiopia and all that. Now that the war with Kenya's over, almost, I'm just gonna train these guys, get them back up, and uh, we're gonna invade Tanzania. Oh, and we need to, we need to actually take out this place. Oops, um, just to do that. So, I'm probably gonna end this video off pretty soon, cause if Italy, well, I'll end it if Italy, um, refuses to give me money. Because, like I said, I don't declare war on other players, I just think it's pretty douchey for, well, it's pretty douchey for, like, Russia to invade Kazakhstan player, cause, you know, who's gonna win. You know, obviously, who's gonna win that war, cause this game, I'm sorry to say it, but this game's very unbalanced. Just the bigger your country is, the more powerful it, you are, basically. So, yeah, well, Rwanda's troops are dead, so let's just invade them. Where is Africa going? Are they going to invade Brazil? Oh my god, not this again. Albania versus the United Kingdom. Hmm. Okay, white peace. They don't accept, then, I guess. We have to fight the UK. Okay, never mind, they did. So to unite Africa, this is how many more countries we need to take over. And obviously, if we annex all of it, like France's lands in, um, and Italy's, and France, Italy and France's lands in Africa, then that number will, you know, drop by a lot. But still, we have to invade all the island nations, which, this is why people don't play Africa. Rwanda's fallen, and I think I'm ready to go to war with Tanzania. Because, like, their troops are not going to be, not going to put up any, any sort of fight. So, uh, let's go. Tanzania. And the, the troops, you see, like, that glitch over there? Tanzania. Tanzania. Okay, we beat their troops here. Mm, surprise. And I'm going to turn off auto, okay, auto merge is already off. I just want to make sure. Sure, sit back, back, sit back, and enjoy the carnage of Tanzania. Oh my god, I didn't know France was like, what is this game, bro? What, 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 I'm getting everywhere. Oh god. Jesus. Okay, I'm eating something, but I was not expecting this. Ugh. I guess we can just declare war in France, because they're not defending their African borders. They're just caring about what's going up there. Because, yeah, who cares about Africa? Am I right? Mm. If France starts deploying troops, then I'm going to white peace because I'm too scared. But, um... This is a great opportunity to annex some French um, lands they should not have and that were rightfully ours. Well, should be rightfully ours. They were never ours. So I'm making a huge army of 500k right here. Greece has collapsed. Who invaded Greece? Albania. Wait, is Albania even a thing? Or the UK just destroyed them? So yeah, I really didn't expect to be at war with France, bro. It's like... I don't even know who declared- Who is the Mameluke? Nobody plays as Mameluke! I'm gonna break ties with this country. Wait, wh where is the Mameluke Solnate? Where- where is it? You know what, wh let me just type it somewhere. Um... There. Ooh! Mukal's making its way. Well, that's- it's my friend. Who's playing as Mughal, so he's making his way. Oh, the Ma oh the Mameluke owns Egypt. And no one's playing as them. It's free land, bro. Alright, here comes the here comes the squad. <laughs> and we got 500k more manpower. 
Alright, so I really wasn't expecting this. I was gonna end the video after the Tanzanian War, but... Uh, we're doing this now. Are any more troops actually deploying themselves? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... Once these guys get away, I'm gonna... Just, uh, make a huge fleet out of these guys. Just why not? Oh, uh, there, there goes France. Like, they're not, they're not even paying attention. Is anyone even playing as France? Three man, one gamer king. Very nice. But nobody's, he's not even caring. He doesn't even care that we're just doing this. Excuse me, man. Oh, God, my eyes hurt. My head hurts. I just want to go to bed. But I must invade France. Yeah, does anyone remember the time when uh, Congo invaded France and won? So what's gonna happen, once France loses a bunch of stability from me taking their cities and their population dwindling, African nations are gonna declare independence from France, um, if I don't get to them fast enough. Get to them fast enough, that is. Which I probably will get to them. But if France, um, if France, um, does not... I mean, if France, like, starts getting unstable, which it will, since I'm invading them, of course, their stability will drop, and countries will start declaring independence from them. I just repeated myself, but hey. And that we're gonna see, like, um, Algeria, maybe, come back, and are these French troops? It doesn't even tell me. But, uh, they're no match for my guys, or, pro they are probably match for this guy, so. He's not going up there, he's going, um, right here. Okay, yeah, he's, he's doing what I wanted to. But he's gonna go up there. Okay, we're, we're invading down here now. Taking over a big city. It's just so big, it's a square. South Africa. France is trying to top take Africa. I might need help if they push further. Mm -hmm. A little bit too late, South Africa. Can I add anyone to this war? Freaking Mamluk, we're not even allies with them anymore. I wish I started this war so I could actually invite somebody, like South Africa, or I can just tell them. Declare war in France, we are winning. He doesn't care about his African lands, lol. And just the pure carnage of Africa, uh, a complete turn of a whoa, that was like a, I'm gonna, but it's a complete turn of events here. I'm just gonna make a huge, uh, 60k army, nothing, you know, nothing, nothing abnormal. Paraguay declares independence from Brazil, okay, that's not what I was expecting, but hey, wait, is Brazil actually being invaded? Hold on, what's going on over here? Okay, so Brazil never took... Okay, Paraguay declared independence. Brazil's at war with Peru. Why are people declaring independence from Brazil, though? Is Peru winning the war? Where even is Peru? Is this guy really not that competent to actually invade Peru? Where, where is it? You know what? Never mind. But yeah, our superior Congo um, Congo army is winning this French war. Really surprising. They're just gonna have um after I take all oh oh 50, 50 anti aircrafts. I'm so scared. Or no, that's artillery. Fifty artillery. That's even worse. <laughs> so pathetic. You're a world power, and you're not stopping Congo of all places. Jesus. Okay, so we're just gonna start a little side war, invade Equatorial Guinea, and then Cameroon. Like, Cameroon, we didn't even invade for the longest time. Do we... Okay, we should... Argentina declares independence from Brazil. Wow. That's a big loss. Togo. Benin. Bootleg. Uh, Madagascar flag. Declare war. And we don't even have to train these guys, because they're gonna win anyways. 870k versus 20k. Hmm... Just a little bit imbalanced. Yeah, it's gonna be a bigger. <laughs> I was gonna say it was gonna be a bigger detriment to the army than usually, but no, it wasn't. There's no no difference. And wow, we're taking all of, we're taking Algeria, Algiers, Algiers, the capital of Algeria, Algiers. Very nice. I really can't believe this French guy doesn't care. Like, what is he doing? Is he AFK? He left! He left the game! Well, we might have to invade mainland France now. 
Tunisia is at war with France, but they have a, a whopping population of zero. So they will be one of the strongest armies, of course. Western Sahara, that's a country. Well, it's not, not, not about to be anymore, I guess. But yeah, we might have to invade mainland France since the war won't end if, unless France could, like completely dies. But yeah, it, would re it really sucks that I can't call people into the war since I technically didn't start it. Because I would totally invite some empires into this war. To aid. Because I, I really don't want mainland fan France. I don't care about mainland France. I just want all the African countries. Oh, they, do they? Is, do France? France, they own that. All the way over there, Maine. All the way over there. I'm surprised Fr no, France has a high stability enough to where countries aren't declaring independence from it. Or maybe they have, I just didn't notice. Um, yeah, I don't know. But, uh, ooh, Queens, I'm looking great. Let's check on Astana. Okay, the capital of, um, Kazakhstan, developer, if you're watching this, the capital of Kazakhstan is not Astana anymore. It's renamed to Nur Sultan. N U R hyphen S U L T A N. Communist Baltimore X. That's actually a really cool name. Baltimore X. It's gonna give you another French province of that's owned by us. What's going on in the chat? Queen Dynasty be ruling it. Imagine if this was the actual history of Earth. What? Yes, my reaction. And now we have a we have too much manpower for our own good, and we didn't even in, finish the invade of Equatorial Guinea. How incompetent do I have to be? Oh God, they, they have islands. Great. Well, we're pushing up into France. Air mobility, so we can move faster. Well, France is going bye-bye. They have... Okay, they have one division. Wait, what's this orange stuff? South Africa! South Africa annex Jap... Not, not Japan. France! Oh my god, my brain, man. So, South Africa owns the United Kingdom. This is... This is something else, man. And, well, before I end this video, since I really like the South African guy, like, he's... Look at him, he's just so innocent. Shooch, Scooch, YouTube. Shout out to Scooch, if you can say that. Scooch, YouTube 44. Shout out to Scooch, YouTube 44. Because, um, after I... Um, stop playing this game, um, when, when I'm going to, when we de defeat France. Oh god, what happened to the UK? Why is everything on fire? You know it's bad when you can see the fires from freaking space, man. Like, look at that. But yeah, I'm gonna cede everything to the South African guy, if I can. Alright, I have to actually get to Malabo, the Equatorial Guinea capital. Okay, I want to see something, okay. Well, I'm gonna have- I'm gonna take out all of France first, yes, but I'm gonna- Since I don't- I could care less about mainland France, I only care about Africa. But, bef bef like, once I take all of this, I'm going to try and see if I can peace France with, like, annexing all this. And if they deny, then, well, I guess, uh, I have to invade mainland France, which I'm probably not going to do, because I'm getting- pretty bored of this game right now, and this video is getting way too long, and it's gonna be a nightmare to edit, so, goodbye Equatorial Guinea, just gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give wait, what's this plane? South Africa owns Spain! Okay, South Africa's number seven world power, and, oh no, not India, India's dead, I'm number five world power. Yeah, it's my mouse. Sounds really weird. Sounds like a laser. <laughs> weird. Uh, I'm just not feeling like it, man. I'm just not feeling like invading 
Egypt over here. I'm just not feeling it, man. I just want this. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Oh, he's going. Okay, I'm just gonna disband. Or, no, not disband. He's he's really good. He's like level, like max level troop there. All right. So you know what? I'm getting bored. Let's just do it. Colombia declares independence. Oh, that's not even here. That's from Brazil. Let's see. Will they accept? Of course you won't. Dang it, France! Literally, I've taken everything. Can somebody invade France? And I have a good bribe. I'll just give everyone, whoever does it, all my land. Or about, or about, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, South Africa invade France. Is he at war with France? Yes. Yes. Hopefully he just actually goes for it, though. He's not even doing nothing. Okay, well, there they go. To mainland France. And he said I am. So, yeah. Annex. They don't, they don't want it. Even though I took everything they worked to get, they still don't want to piece me. <sighs> Dang it. Bro, my head hurts. I just want to go. You did your part, I will do mine. See, that's why I like that South African guy. Okay, well, there they go. I have mine on auto capture, so. Oh, those are French troops. I thought that was. Oh, they're coming back to take, take, take the people. Oh, we're gonna lose. Wait, can't are we? We're level two versus level one. Oh, well, they just ate those people. They just gobble gobbled. All right, you know what? Disband. We'll just let South Africa do it, because we're not gonna win those battles. Um, I'm, I'm gonna leave anyway, so it doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter. Disband everything. Yep, everything's gone. Oh, there, there comes South Africa. Oh, we're not at peace, so we can't cede. So I actually have to wait for France. I actually have to wait for them to capitulate. This is, this is, this sucks. Oh God. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. Uh, I'll just do this. Uh. 86, spam that, and that's like a million troops there. They have, oh, they're coming, they're coming back to Africa. Oh God, I didn't realize they would do that. Come on, come on, climb. And I'm gonna build a pass so I don't lose any on the way there. Yeah, this is fruitless, but I'm still gonna do it. Turkey declares independence of the UK. Not, not interesting. Crap. Hopefully they'll just like freaking. All right. I'm getting, I'm getting really lazy. I told South Africa invade France from Spain. Oh God, they're back. Trying to reclaim it. Who is, is someone playing as France? No. Okay. I thought someone was gonna play as playing as France, and it would actually be. Well, I tried to white piece them, or not white piece. I tried to annex them. Okay, he should mass produce troops from Spain and UK, and just freaking do like that. Invade India. Or India. You can still you can tell how tired I'm. He he can invade France from this way and that way. All right, my troops are taking quite the beating from traveling. There's a million troops. Okay. Spain borders France. It will be effective. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I have literally... Okay, South Africa's helping in this operation, but I literally have... Like, where is it? Where is it? One million troops here? Yeah, this is not gonna do it. Bruh, UK did not stay to take his land in Turkey. Alright, well, France is dead. Is it deaded? The big die.
Come on, bro! France is moving away, they're running! Well, I tried, it is not working. It's fine, I just want... No, it's fine, it's just that my head hurts and I want to get off. I am recording, so my last thing is to annex France. I can't type, bro. Queen Dynasty said he's gonna leave. Oh, crap. Come on, man, you worthless. Yes, you're dead. Ugh, my army is so disorganized. Like, I have no idea, like, how many troops I got, what, where they are and stuff. Mughal wants to help. And I said, it won't let me since I didn't start the war. I said the wart, bruh. But I really just want to defeat France so I can actually... You have to be at peace so you to cede land. Will they accept now? Uh, stupid bots. There has to be a certain point where you can't keep fighting, man. But France, man, they just don't care. It's probably because I don't have Paris. South Africa, okay, I'm about to attack. Yes! Here we go. I have been playing this game for two hours, and it is 2029, so... Nine years of in-game in time. I'm really gonna have uh, trouble trying to find a way to make this video entertaining. Because, you know you know what? Nobody's gonna watch through this anyways. Does it matter? Bruh. Allies. Oh, we're allied. With... Is is France at war with the Mughal? Mughal's probably justifying a war goal. Wait, it says we're not at war with him. What? It says, it says we're not in a war with France, but we clearly are. Well, we've made it into mainland France like it matters. You know what? There go two divisions. D disband. Just disband them. Doesn't matter. Oh, we made it. Time to push. Isle of Man? Wait, my friend's plan is the Isle of Man? He said, watch this. Let's go. You know what? This guy's really cool. Let's just uh, do that. Uh, send friend request. And see, you make friends on this game. It's really nice. You meet warlord sadistic children who also want to murder the entire population of France. <laughs> Joking aside, the, the South African guy's really cool. So yeah, I friend him. Hopefully he accepts. Isle of Man. Yeah, for some reason you're able. I take. I want to take over a bunch of the world as the Isle of Man. All right, good luck. Who? But that Isle of Man's like. That's Isle of Man has one city. That's it. Oh God. Look at that. Oh, it's just, it's beautiful. It's, no, it's beautiful. Anything but disgusting. Repulsive. I want to take over a bunch of the world as I man. Yeah, but not anything from me. This is why I like the South African guy. He's just so innocent. I am Killian France. <laughs> oh, he's so he's so good. Go, man. I'm rooting for you. Look at him. Jesus. That mass attack strategy of just making a whole bunch of different divisions is actually really effective. I and it's and it seems in the war is a lot quicker. Cause I just like to have one huge like infantry like thing, you know. Lord, we're winning. We won. I'm gonna try and peace them, peace out. They're probably going to accept now that we've taken over mainland France. Still no. Okay. Well, you've left us with no choice, France. Paris is now out of South African property. <laughs> There's South Africa and France, the two most random combinations of countries. But yeah, just look at this border gore. Like, you got the Queen, they own everything, and then you just got, like, Mughal, or whatever this is. Yeah, that's Mughal. They just own, like, a, a very, very, um, concerning shape. It's very reminiscent of 
some symbol of from the Second World War, but we are not going to comment on that. But, uh, yeah, well, we take over Paris. Four hundred eighty-three thousand troops. Yikes! Just imagine when you like, when you have more troops than the entire population of these cities. <laughs> well, that's crazy. Easy ass cake. It is easy. France. It's gonna say France has fallen soon. Wow, Queen actually owns a lot more than I thought they did. They own all of this. Dang. I'm gonna go into rankings to see what we ended off. Yeah, nowhere near Queen, but fifth world power, we have like nothing on the scale. I get a deficit every time I have a boat. I don't know why, but the boats are overly expensive in this game. And there's France, gone. Gone, he said his profile picture to black. Gone! Wait, what? There's more? I swear to god if this was France, bro, I would freak out. Where are we going? Oh god! We, we haven't taken that out. Can we just end this now, France? You lost your capital to us, you best accept. They did! South Africa. I'm going to go. But I have to reward you first. And it's gonna, it's, did they have like a, the seeding function's really stupid. Cause uh, you, there's like a 40 million population limit. So, South Africa. Uh, both countries must be up here. <sighs> Want to die. Once the war against France is over, you will see. So once he invades these like two, th four or five, yeah, th five. Doesn't matter, the cities in France, I'm gonna seed them everything. My troops are- okay, you do it alone? I don't know what he means. I really want to end this war, but you know what? I just made a bunch of troops. And we're going to invade this. So the new France capital is Alexandria. That's an Egyptian city. Oh, we're at peace with France. God dang it. Everything. Oh. Why did it, what is, what? I really just wanna get, okay, you know what? I think I'm able to do this though. South Africa. Can I not send a maid? Yeah. There you go, South Africa. Just that, take everything. <laughs> Four billion dollars and I don't even know what that number is. Uh, one quadrillion. There you go, no problem. Oh, is he still at war with France? Cause I really just want to end this video. He's still at war with France. Is this, is this, okay, this boat's going after them. I'm gonna unpause once France has finally collapsed. Annex France, okay, I will try again. Please work. My brain is bleeding. I really just wanna see that flag just disappear from the screen. Or that, from this one. Hey, Germany declared independence from the UK. They declined! Well, they are done for. I will beat the- I will beat the three countries more. Switzerland declared been finished from the UK. I was gonna say I felt bad for the UK player, but no one's played as the UK. Oh my god. Well...
Well, I disbanded all my troops. Well, I disbanded all my troops. I want you to have it. Okay, whatever. Wow. That's not very nice. Can I just fund rebels in France? We don't even have enough money. Yeah, this is... Um, well, I'm just gonna leave this off here. This is the state of the world right now. It's not good. And this is me. Okay, whatever, thanks. He doesn't seem that appreciative, but hey, it, he, he, he's so precious, how could I be mad at him? Like, look at him. He's, he, he, he's like a m person who commits crimes against humanity, and he's just so innocent. He doesn't know that he's doing anything wrong. I'm going to invade Brazil! And he just thinks that sound right. Well, again, I invaded all of Africa, so. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna end this video off here. Alright. So yeah, I'm gonna end this video off here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. The three of you who decided to watch it to this long, because, let's be honest, I'm not gonna edit this. It's, I'm too lazy, and nobody's gonna watch through it anyways. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one, and bye-bye.